I kind of considered the way uh, uh, blacksmithing and you know, most most trades have been um, handed down or across or whatever over you know thousands of years, and basically. You know, it, there has been the master or journeyman apprentice system where one person teaches a few other in his life and they, you know, they continue that work. And then, you know, as things move along in the industrial era, uh, factories wanted to make sure that there were standards f for production. So they might keep mid-stage pieces around and have drawings and, and specifications for their work. Um, and uh, industrial economy n might need people who simply go to school and learn this stuff, but still it's going to generally amount to one teacher and a dozen students or something like that. You know, it's, a, it's, it's getting the word out uh, in maybe more effective way, but uh, I have kind of realized that the best way to, to do maybe a lot of this would be to put the knowledge online. And I thought maybe the best way to do it would be to forge things in stages to make the plastic flow of the material obvious because it is quite obvious if you can compare two pieces that have only had 15 minutes of work done between them, you can see what was done. Uh, if you have only the finished piece, it's nearly impossible to tell how it's done. You can say in theory, oh yeah, that's an asymmetric wrap, but to do it is, is a, a extreme amount of work to reproduce a piece. And yet if somebody does it, if they go to the uh, work of making stages, then they can go and show people these pieces and it, uh, a moderately experienced smith could suddenly, I think, make an ax, you know, maybe by a second or third try. Uh, but it also occurred to me in doing that that I was carrying a box of 40 pounds of <laughs> unique pieces, which if I simply lost one would be a total pain in the ass. I'd have to make it, I'd have to make it over again. You know, of course, I have the left. I should be able to do it, right? Because I have the, the previous pieces. But it would just be a terrific pain in the ass. And, uh, and there's no reason for it to, uh, to be that... Dire. So I just thought, well, what if we just start scanning this stuff? The, the, uh, the information conveyed by any stage is simply its shape. So the easiest uh, thing to, to uh, get a 3D scan of would be you know, this chunk of iron. It's flat black. It's relatively small. And you know, it represents a very specific stage that would be nice to remember for a long time. Um, so, uh, basically, a friend of mine at our, one of our California Blacksmith Oktoberfests last year had, a, had a, some sort of scanning software and was using a digital camera to make uh, 3D scans of people <laughs> and stuff. And I said, well, could you do a few of these for me, Whitney Potter? So he, he did three pieces for me and sent me the, uh, the 3D prints. So I thought, this is perfect. It's like, A, it could be downloaded from online. It weighs like two ounces, not two pounds. And it's, not, it's no longer unique. Um, it could be printed out anywhere in the world. And uh, it could represent a process extremely well, maybe better than anything that, uh, you know, you know, not, you know maybe 1% worse than having the actual steel pieces. But you know, still, the, the fact that it could be uh, downloaded a million times you know, is it's kind of awesome. So, and are, uh, do the Facebook nerd friends in Scandinavia are they uh, it, uh, the, the forging nerds? I mean, are they are, are they using some of these objects? Uh, well, no, not yet. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, they don't. I showed them this. It's like, ooh, plastic. You know, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you don't get it. You don't get it. So we need the, the next generation. The academics are kind of like not so interested in smithing, and the smiths are not quite. You know, making the connection, or they don't really necessarily know where to get a scan done. But here, you know, in in you know, virtually in Silicon Valley, this would be the easiest thing to get done. And it seems like um, you know, if somebody's willing to collect the knowledge and make the uh, make the sequence, that it would be relatively easy to to put out there. Mm -hmm.